All right, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. We'd like to say double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And as always, giving a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And, uh, just decided to make an edifying lesson out of this all through the spirit because um, some edification can definitely come out of this. All right. This is a map. All right. And it says uh, global happiness levels in 2022. And it's a global map of all the countries. All right. Around the earth. All right. This is out of 146 countries and it's showing you where people are most happy. All right. And when I zoom in, you can see the score chart on the bottom. OK, the lower scores are uh, anywhere from a dark purple to, you know, like a pinkish color. And the higher scores are like an orangish, like an orange, basically. All right. So we can see that the first thing we see, <laughs> OK, is it says people are most happy. These two uh, countries rank number one, the United States and Canada. This is where people are most happy on the earth today. All right. And when you look at South America, OK. You know, you got a lot of uh, low scores, Venezuela. All right. And then you go over here to Africa. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of purple, right? OK. Now let's go over towards Russia, China. OK, people, people don't seem to be too happy in these lands, according to this chart. Whoever did this study. OK, and you have a few uh, Finland. OK, Finland is up there. Most happy. Now. A spiritual man would say, well, wait a minute. OK. How in the hell are people most happy in the U.S. and Canada? And there's a reason for that. OK, because these people live deliciously. They live selfishly. OK, and ultimately they're not facing any realities. Because over here in America, Babylon, the great. OK, you're there's so many distractions, social media. OK, which which causes a lot of depression, by the way social media all right people are distracted people are uh living these fake fantasy lives all right but in a lot of these countries people are actually uh happy man and they're, and they're living their life a lot of people that come over here to america from these other countries they always they want to go back home all right now there's a balance to it you do have people that like to stay over here because they, they believe they're so-called free. But a lot of these people go back to their homelands, man. Now, over here, you can live in the do as thou wilt spirit. That's why these people are so-called happy, because you could be a damn freak. You can do whatever the hell you want to do over here, man. And that and that's a famous saying amongst people. Oh, just people in America anyway. Oh, just do what makes you happy. No matter if it's wicked, just do do whatever makes you feel good. Be who you want to be with. If it makes you feel good, love. And that's a terrible, terrible standard to live by, man. All right. People are not living by righteousness. Now, let's read some of this. It says what really makes people happy. All right. While countries uh, slacky, while countless uh, academic researchers have tried to get to the bottom of this. The truth is, is a complicated question to answer. Happiness levels depend on a number of factors, including one's financial security, uh, per perceptions of social support, feeling of personal freedom, and much more. This map pulls data from the World Happiness Report to recover the average happiness scores of 146 countries to uncover the average happiness scores 
of 146 countries. It shows average scores from 2019 to 2021 and highlights which countries are happiest or unhappiest and why. It says, how is happiness measured? Before diving in, let's briefly touch on how happiness levels are measured in this report. Some clear indicators are health and wealth, which are measured using key metrics like uh, GDP per capita and life expectancy rates. The report also looks at more intangible aspects by collecting survey responses from each country to uh, gouge things like social support, freedom to make life, freedom to make life choices. Brothers, hear that? Freedom to make life choices. Generosity. These people in America aren't, these people aren't generous, man. They teach you, basically, they teach you uh, the uh, dog eat dog spirit, man. Every man for himself. You got people on the corners uh, uh, um, with signs up asking for food. People drive by them all the time. That's not generous. Over there in California, you got tents of homeless people, man. They, they had so many homeless people where they had to start building up shelters for them. All right. This is this is this is a damn lie, man. All right. This is BS, man. They try to make it seem like America is just this great, happy place. And I forgot about Australia down here. All right. Like, it's just these people are living miserable lives over here, man. They threw. You know. Esau and his damn uh, propaganda, man. It says perceptions of government, business, uh, corruption, positive effect, negative effect. All right. Similar to last year, the report takes special considerations to track down CV. Uh, how CV has impacted aspects of our daily lives and how it's affected global happiness levels, which it did. A lot of people were depressed, you know, especially here in America. They were through, man. And then uh, let's let's read North America. All right. Here it goes right here. Last year, Canada ranks first as happiest country in North America. However, it's lost some ground on global ranking, placing 15th this year compared to 14th the year prior. In contrast, the U.S. climbed three places <laughs> in the year's report and ranked just under Canada with a 6.9. Uh, seven, seven point oh after rounding. So everybody's just living happy here in America. No man, these people are miserable. They're losing it. Like I said, they live these fantasy lives, that, and 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 really, they're afraid, man. All right. The Dominican Republic comes in last place in the region, while the Dominican Republic has experienced impressive ec economic growth. Over the last 25 years, the country was hit hard by the global pandemic in 2020. Approximately 270,000 people fell into poverty and the economy is still struggling to reach pre-pandemic levels. You know, and a lot of that's by design, man. And then they go on to South America. All right, you brothers can see. But the point of the lesson that I mainly wanted to focus on is, is America, man, because we know that what? This is the rejoicing city that dwell carelessly. That's why people seem to be so happy because they can do what the hell they want in this filthy landmass, man. Zephaniah 2 and 15. This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly that said in her heart, I am and there is none beside me. How is she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down in? Everyone that passeth by her shall hiss and wag his hand. So you want to you, you want to be the uh, rejoicing city that dwells carelessly? Well, ultimately, you're going to be a place of desolation and a place for beasts to lie down in. Meaning what? That destruction, man. And what did the Lord tell you? He told you to come sit in the dust, man. Let's get that real quick. We read that at camp this week. Come sit your ass in the dust. This ain't this ain't no land of happiness, man. This ain't the land of happiness. Look around at these people in America, man. 
Do people seem happy? Hell no. Everybody's all uptight, man. Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. All right? So you, you, this is supposed to be the, oh, it's the happiest, the second happiest place in the world. Thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, man. Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. You're being exposed, man. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. You got the prophets out there on the highways and the byways doing their thing. All right. This place is spiritually fallen via the prophets. Your shame is being seen, man. A lot of these other countries don't want to deal with your dollar. You're weak. Your leader is weak. You know, as I said uh, many a times, he's a representation of this country. Weak. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Because Yahweh Shai is coming back as that force, that power. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get, and get thee into the darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms, man. Thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms, man. You know, that soft, tender, and delicate, good old America. The land of the free. No, man. That's all BS, man. That's all BS. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. And thou didst show no, show them no mercy, which they didn't. All right. Upon the ancient, thou hast very heavily laid thy yoke, and thou saidest, "I shall be a lady forever." So thou did, so that thou didst not lay these things to thine heart, neither didst thou remember the the latter end of it. And this is this is this is one of the key verses right here, right? This is the most happy, so called the most. One of the most happiest places on earth. Meanwhile, all these people are just miserable, right? But you go over here to Babylon the Great, and it's just this great, great place to live. Yeah, okay. Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly. You can, you can marry a damn dog over here, man. You can marry a beast. You can create, be you can, you, you can, uh, uh, commit bestiality and get a slap on the wrist in some states you won't even nothing will happen you can identify as what you want to i mean these people just literally dwell carelessly man but like i said what do they what do they tell you oh do what makes you happy love who you want to love do whatever the hell you do as thou will the alistair crowley crowley spirit if i'm saying it right i believe his name was alistair crowley that witch anyway that saith in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. And we read this at camp as well. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment. And one day the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and the great abundance of thine enchantments. All right. So <laughs> this, this, this is this is some BS, man. This is BS, man. You got South America, you know, Europe, which they're basically saying the outskirts of Europe, people are happy. Finland, Norway, Sweden, Germany, you know, apparently they just miserable in Russia. <laughs> Russians are just miserable. Nah, man, you know. The Middle East. All right. And then Aust Australia is pretty high as well. Africa, I guess they just threw. They just threw com uh, according to this source. But good old America, right? Everything's just gravy. Thou that are given to pleasures, man. So I just thought I'd bring that out, you know. It's just like, you know, these devils, man, they 
it's a lot of propaganda, man. And they still believe that this place is just, uh, the, you know, the happiest place on earth. Nah, man, that's a damn lie. Anyway, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth. Peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. This is Brother Zion signing off.